This video is about the importance of fish, some of the problems you face, and how you can handle and process fish better to get more income. It has been made for you to help you to improve your business, make more money, and make sure you keep your customers happy. You will learn about why fish is good to eat. You will learn about why fish goes bad and why you make losses. But you will also learn about how to keep your fish in good condition, stop these losses, and sell your fish for a high price. You will sometimes see this red cross, which tells you that what you are seeing is not good. You will sometimes see this green tick, which tells you that you are seeing something which is a good practice and which you should try and do. As you go through this video, your trainer will stop, so you can share what you have learned. Please give us your attention and participation, and you will learn how to make a positive change to your business and your life. Lesson 1. Why is fish important? Did you know that fish provides jobs, money and food for millions of people all over the world? Your fish is not only sold here. It also goes to other countries where people are not lucky enough to have enough fish of their own. If you process fish well and package it properly, you can sell it for high prices and also to supermarkets. You know that fish gives you work and money. But if it was not for fish, then boat builders, gear makers, transporters, shop owners, fuel sellers, and many others you can think of would not have work also. The other good thing about fish is that it gives a lot of jobs and money to women too. Did you know that fish is one of the best foods to eat? It not only contains protein that makes you strong and helps your body grow, but it also contains special vitamins and minerals which your body needs to work properly. Yes, and fish also has special types of fat which are not harmful to you. In fact, they make you healthier. Eating fish is good for everyone, including pregnant women, children, elderly, and sick people. So fish is the glue that keeps us together, gives you work and money, and keeps your families and communities strong. That is why you need to treat fish well, so that it will also treat you well. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to discuss what you have learned. Can you tell us why fish is important? Lesson 2 why fish goes bad and you get losses? You know that fish can go bad. You know that sometimes you don't get a good price for your fish. You know that sometimes you have to throw fish away. You know that sometimes your dried fish gets eaten by insects. All these things mean that you lose money and fish is wasted. These losses we call post-harvest losses because they happen after the fish has been harvested or caught in the net.
But let's look at why you get these losses to help you understand how you can prevent them. If you leave fresh fish in the sun for even a few hours, you can see it changes. If you leave it for too long, then it will smell, go soft, and you'll have to sell it for a low price, process it, or throw it away. Even if you process it, you know that your end products will not be good quality. But the sun is not the reason why the fish goes bad or spoils. There are two things which make fish go bad. They are bacteria and enzymes. Fish are covered with bacteria, which are very small living things that you cannot see unless you have a microscope. Bacteria are on the skin of the fish and in the gut and gills. When the fish dies, the bacteria continue to live and grow and eat the fish slowly, starting to make it smell and taste bad. The warmer the fish, the faster bacteria will grow and feed. That's why, if you leave fish in a warm place, it goes bad quickly and you get losses. Bacteria are also found in dirty places, like dirty water, toilets, dirty clothes, dirty hands, dirty equipment, and on insects and animals. If fish touches any of these things, then you put more bacteria on the fish and the fish will go bad quicker. There is another important thing to remember about bacteria found in dirty places. These bacteria are usually those ones that make us sick and give us things like cholera, typhoid and dysentery. If those bacteria get onto your fish, they can make your consumers very ill and even kill them. The other thing that makes fish go bad are enzymes. These are chemicals inside the fish which digest its food when it is alive. But when it dies, the enzymes in its stomach keep working and start to digest the fish itself. This also makes the fish go bad. Handling the fish in a rough way is another way you can make fish go bad and affect its quality. Bad handling includes throwing fish, dropping it, and standing on it. All these things cause damage, add dirt and bacteria, and make it easier for bacteria and enzymes to move around in the fish and eat it. So dirty fish in a dirty environment and using dirty equipment means you will get losses very easily and quickly. With processed fish, you get losses when it rains and we can't dry the fish properly. Fish can also get eaten by animals and maggots from flies when it is drying or when the dried fish is kept in a bad storage place and it gets attacked by insects. Rough handling will also damage processed fish. A loss means less money in your pockets. It means that fish that could have been eaten is wasted. Poor handling and hygiene can also make your products dangerous for the consumer. So, you also lose business. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to discuss what you have learned. What are the causes and consequences of post-harvest losses? Lesson 3. How can you handle and process fish better? The first thing you need to know is how to deal with bacteria. You can remove a lot of bacteria from fresh fish by taking out the intestines and gills and washing the fish in clean water. The intestines also have a lot of enzymes in them. To deal with the bacteria left on fish, you need to know that they like warm, but don't like cold temperatures. 
So, if you use ice or freeze the fish, then you slow down the bacteria. You need to know that bacteria need water. So, if you dry the fish well, then you take out the water and bacteria can't grow. You also need to know that very hot temperatures will kill bacteria and stop enzymes. So you have learned why it is important to wash your fish, ice it as soon as possible, and cook or process it quickly. The longer you wait to do these things, the more bacteria and enzymes have time to make our fish go bad. Another thing you'll have to always bear in mind is keep your fish and fish products away from things which will add bacteria to it. We call this good hygiene practice. How do we do this? Well, firstly you have to keep your environment clean and you have to prevent animals and other sources of dirt coming into your clean working area. You have to keep your equipment clean. And you have to be clean. Because if you are dirty, then you will pass on dirt and bacteria to the fish. Last but not least, handle the fish with care, like you're holding a baby. Remember, any damage to the skin or flesh will add bacteria and also make it easy for them to spread inside the fish. <laughs> okay, so let's take a few minutes to discuss what you have learned. How can you prevent and reduce losses? What have we learned? Fish is important for jobs, money, and food. Bacteria and enzymes make fish go bad and cause losses. Dirty fish in a dirty environment will go bad quickly and can harm the consumer. You should take care of your fish, wash it in clean water, keep it clean, handle it in a clean environment, with clean equipment, and stop bacteria growing by using ice and good processing methods. Remember that good quality means good income. Good quality means safe, healthy food. So remember, be clean, cold, quick, and gentle.